Let's look at the side label. Whole milk, one serving size. Well, the total fat is 8 grams. I'm loving that. Saturated fat, 5 grams. I dig it. Now we get to total carbs, 12 grams of carbs. So one serving of this, you know, isn't bad. You're getting 12 grams of carbs. So I'm okay with that. Let's go over to skim milk here. So this is actually, I'm reading from the front here. It says 100% fat-free milk. This is the thing that most people are going to go after to, to consume because it's fat-free. And we all know that fat you know, and cholesterol is dangerous for us. Of course, you're learning here from the show, Ultimate Wellness, probably the most controversial webcast out there, okay, that eating fat and cholesterol is safe for you. All right? Uh, oh, and by the way, uh, someone left a message. Um, I think it was Facebook or, or I forget where it was. Why am I so angry? I, I'm not angry. I'm, I'm I'm frustrated. You know. You know the title of my book. You know, genocide. How your doctor's dietary ignorance will kill you. Uh, like I said, malicious title. You know, genocide reflects the fact that millions of people are dying each and every year due to physicians' dietary ignorance. By golly, it has to stop. It has to stop. We need to stop the ignorance. We need to stop be giving the drug companies trillions of our dollars. Because not only are we dying an untimely death, all right, we're, 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 spending, we're spending our money. We're dying penniless. We're dying homeless because we're giving the drug companies all of our money for medications that we probably don't even need. All right, I'm getting myself all worked up here. So total carbohydrates. Let's get back to whole milk, okay? I said whole milk was 12 grams of carbs per serving, okay? Now we're looking at fat-free. 17 grams. So we went another 5 grams of sugar. So we increased the amount of sugar. We increased the amount of sugar, you know, by going from whole milk to skim milk. And if you're a diabetic, if you're overweight, that's going to be a problem. I'm going to reach right over here for <laughs> oatmeal. You know, I I always get these these uh, these looks, and 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 people just want to uh, hang me, you know, when I pick on oatmeal. And it's I, I'm just, again I'm 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 reading from the side packaging label, man. I ain't making this stuff up. It's right here in front of me. Here it goes. Here it goes. You ready? Oatmeal, one serving, a half a cup dry, half a cup dry oatmeal, okay? 27 grams of carbohydrate, four grams of fiber, giving me a net of 23 grams of carbohydrate. That's 23 grams of carbohydrate that are going to wind up as sugar in our bloodstream. Sugar is sugar is sugar. Sugar is converted into plaque-forming deadly cholesterol as well as fat. Prevents weight loss, causes weight loss, lowers HDL, increases triglycerides, increases blood sugar, causes you to need more medications, lowers your health, quite frankly. This is oatmeal. Worshipped. Worshipped. Oatmeal is worshipped by us. Uh, probably the single biggest thing that people eat. Uh, and the single biggest thing that people say, are you kidding me? I, I can't eat that anymore. Well, what am I going to have for breakfast? Okay. Uh-oh. Here we go. Next one. Cheerios. Uh, you know, and it's, it's, oh, yeah. As part of a heart-healthy diet, the soluble fiber in Cheerios can help lower cholesterol. Well, yeah, the problem, and here at the top it says whole grain guaranteed. Well, I'm sure it is, but again, let's stick with the facts, okay? Uh, blah, 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 blah. So 20 grams of carbohydrate per serving, subtract 3 grams of fiber, you get yourself 17 grams of sugar. 17 grams of sugar. Well, here's the problem, all right? What I didn't mention earlier is the grams of carbs that I mentioned for grape nuts, for quicker oatmeal, and for Cheerios, uh, 41 grams all right, this was 24 grams, I believe, and this was, uh, what did I say? It was 17 grams. That's before we add milk, okay? So so people will add their milk, but they're not adding whole milk, which has less carbs. They're adding either 1%, 2%, or they're adding the, uh, the, the, the fat-free. So what do we learn about the fat-free? Or as you remove the fat from something, the carbs go up. So now they're adding even more sugar into the food, which is, which is dangerous. You know, again, I'm reading from the side packaging labels here. All right. Oh. Okay, you hear this all the time. We have a, we we have a childhood obesity epidemic. We have a childhood obesity pandemic. And let me just stress here: I'm not here to pick on the brand name. I'm not here to pick on whoever makes Cheerios or, or oatmeal or who's ever making these raisins. I'm not. I'm reading from the label because you know all of any other similar product is going to have the same amount of carbs or close to it. So don't think just because you're not you know buying this particular brand name, you're buying another one that you're any safer. You're not. All right, it holds true across the line. Let's get back to raisins, okay? I can't tell you how many times I'm watching the TV and I watch the evening news against my better judgment, and th then they have the uh, the nutritional expert come on, 
the, and of course I use that term loosely, the nutritional expert comes on and, oh, so our kids are getting heavier. We need to get the weight off them. So you know what? Don't let them eat cakes and candies. Let them eat raisins or grapes or bananas or apples. I, I don't know where that apple came from. We'll get to that in a little bit. Uh, so let them eat raisins, okay? All right, let's read the side package and label, okay? Raisins, 31 grams for a quarter of a cup. 31 grams for a quarter of a cup, two grams of fiber, bringing us down to 29. So 29 grams of sugar you're getting from raisins. Remember, I'm going to keep saying it to, to, the, to, to, to the point that everyone gets nauseous. Sugar is sugar is sugar. Sugar is sugar is sugar. All right? So what's happening is you're dumping a lot of sugar into the bloodstream, and again, you're increasing your risk for obesity, type 2 diabetes, heart disease, cancer, the whole nine yards. Now, I love these products here. These products are awesome. This is V8 Fusion. I have uh, 100% juice. All right? This is vegetable and fruit. Okay, this was mind-boggling. Now, one of the things I want to stress, and you saw me look down at the uh, the bottle, I always look at the nutritional uh, uh, um, of the serving size. You always have to look at the serving size because a lot of times people will look at the uh, total carbohydrates and the serving size will be two. In this particular case, it's only one. So this is a V8 Fusion strawberry banana, 100% juice, vegetable and fruit. I'm reading exactly from the side package and label. Total carbohydrates. Are you sitting down? Are you sitting down? Let's see. 42, 42 grams of sugar. Not a bit of fiber. 42 grams of sugar, not one gram of fiber. I got to say it again. 42 grams of sugar, not a single gram of fiber. But wait a minute. We have vegetables and fruit in here. We all know that vegetables and fruit provide us with fiber. Where'd it go? Where'd the fiber go? Here's another one. This is pomegranate blueberry. What do we got here? Uh, uh, 38 grams of uh, sugar. All right, this was 42 grams. This is your strawberry banana, and this was 38 grams. Is there fiber, fiber, fiber? No fiber. Nope, no fiber at all. So 38 grams of sugar, and this is serving size one bottle. So loaded with sugar. If you're somebody who suffers from obesity, heart disease, type 2 diabetes, uh, high blood pressure, you know, generally I tell you to stay very restrictive on your carbohydrates in order for you to A, not go on medications, or B, to lower your medications, or C, to come off them. And once again, we had a question from last week's show uh, asking, can they come off their medications for blood pressure, uh, uh, diabetes, uh, and some other medicines? I think it was heartburn as well. And the answer was never, ever, ever stop your medications until you talk to a doctor about it or let them know. I get a little perturbed, um, and I'm being uh, euphemistic here, when my patients stop their medications without me knowing. All right, me even being a low-carb doctor, you know, sometimes that, uh, all the times it disturbs me. Okay, here we go. Cream of wheat. You know, it's interesting because, let's say, I guess I'm picking on cereals, it looks like. The poor cereals are getting a beaten today. But anyway, and by the way, like I said in the beginning of the show, if you're just joining us, my attempt today is to get some meat on, on Mr. Bones here. Poor guy, Mr. Bones. It is a male skeleton, by the way. But, uh, you know, I want to get some meat on him. So I want to make him fat, and this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to give him all the foods that you're led to believe are healthy for you, that can take the weight off you, but indeed put fat on us. So cream of wheat. Cream of wheat. Okay. Excellent source of iron and calcium. Maybe. All right, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. We have 23 grams of carbs, one gram of sugar. I'm sorry. 23 grams of carbs, one gram of fiber. You know, again, it's just disturbing to me when I went, when I went shopping. Um, you know, I picked the V8s up and I and I kept reading the side packaging label, thinking I didn't see that, that I missed the fiber. Let me look at it again. And by the way, I haven't learned how to use my bifocals yet. No, I don't, I don't see any fiber. There's not, but it's vegetables and fruit. Vegetables and fruit, and we're all told or led to believe that fruit and vegetables have fiber. I know they do. I mean, I. But what what happened? V8. I mean, where, where'd it go? Anyway, so cream of wheat has 19, no, 22 grams of sugar. That's before you even add the milk, and usually you add skim milk or fat-free milk, which is wrong because then you're increasing the carbohydrate content even more. 23 grams of sugar. Remember, sugar is sugar is sugar. Bad news. 